Hello, today's devotional can be found in Helaman, chapter 7, verse 16, and Helaman is found in the Book of Mormon. Yea, how could you have given way to the enticing of him who is seeking to hurl away your souls down to everlasting min misery and endless woe? Okay, so obviously, this verse is talking about Satan. Now you see, Satan was not always Satan. Satan used to be known as Lucifer. And Lucifer used to be in heaven among us. He was one of the, the higher up angels. But, as the plan of salvation was formed, they needed a volunteer. They needed a way for all those to come back into the presence of God after enduring mortality and imperfection. And of course, Lucifer presented a plan that would involve making everyone come back. And he wanted the glory for himself. And Christ wanted to give people their agency. And he gave, and he offered the glory to God, and of course Christ's plan was chosen. But that made Lucifer jealous and angry. And he went around bad-mouthing God to all of his friends. And when Lucifer and his friends tried to rebel, a war broke out in heaven. And it resulted in Lucifer and a third group of the hosts of heaven being banished, being forever trapped in the, f in the spirit form. And in the spirit form they can, do, they can still do quite a bit of damage. If people allow themselves to be vulnerable, if people don't guard themselves, if they're not vigilant, Lucifer and his followers, or Satan and his followers, can inhabit the hearts and minds of, of men and entice them with temptations that may not seem bad but really are very bad. And Lucifer, Satan will seek, he will always seek, to hurl away your souls down to hell, even though Christ already died for them. I mean, we're not condemned to hell automatically anymore because of the fall. Christ suffered, died, and was resurrected that we might be able to have a choice of our eternal destiny, that we might be able to work towards something better. But Satan, oh, Satan, he wants us to forget about the atonement. He wants us to forget that our souls have been redeemed. He wants us to forget that we're children of God and to pursue actions in life that are less than desirable and to keep us in our spiritual prison. Because if we don't allow ourselves to be rescued by Christ and taken out of that spiritual prison that it really will be everlasting misery and endless woe but the world is a very hard place to connect with Christ and God with all that's going on mostly induced by Satan who wants people to give up and take the easy way instead of the right but difficult way. But we shouldn't give in to Satan's enticings because then our agency will not be free. We will be trapped in the choices we will have made. And Satan will have our souls. And by Christ having our souls, we are free to look beyond our imperfections and do so much more with our time, not only for this life, not only to prepare in this life, but also for the next. Endless happiness and joy.
but it's your choice what you wish to do. Just be very aware that you can make choices, but you cannot choose the consequences. And with that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ, amen.